Welcome back, everyone. Lovely to have your company, as always. Uh, I have no idea. I never know when I come here what day of the week it is. I think it's Thursday, is it? Is it Thursday already? Brilliant. It's the weekend and it's sunny. That's all that matters really at the moment, isn't it? We're in plus temperatures rather than minus, which is wonderful. Welcome to an hour of wonderful creative cross stitch and an uh, even bigger welcome to my lovely friend who I've not seen for years and years and years. In fact, it wasn't that many years ago. It's probably about three or four years ago. Helen McCook is with us. Helen. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. It's nice to be back in the same studio <laughs> again. And we've got two space. shows together tonight as well. They're spoiling us. I know. It's brilliant. <laughs> now, you are the lady that, that really can bring cross-stitch to life for us as well, because some people will see those words, cross and stitch, and instantly in their mind think of themselves as, oh, actually, that's probably something I'm going to do when I retire or when I've got a lot more time on my hands. And, of course, the world has a lot more time on its hands right now. And there's lots of up-and-coming cross-stitches as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's so many things that you can get involved with. And the other thing that people always say to me is, oh, I don't have the patience for that. And I'm like, actually, there's ways that you can make it something that you can pick up and put down. So it's one of those things that you can sit down when you're feeling a bit frazzled Immerse yourself in it for 15 minutes and walk away. And you can come back to it, not, lost, not have lost your spot, and you're good to go. 15 minutes at a time if you're that person and you can still do it and create amazing things. Well, talking of amazing things, I mean, you can see all, all around me, behind me, I have like our cross-stitch gallery behind me. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I can't do that tune, can I? <laughs> I want to, but I can't. I can't afford the bill. Um, but we have got the most delightful projects for you today. They are really, really cute. There is going to be something for every, everyone. In fact, Janice just walked out um, from the, the show with John there, and she wants the duck. She says, <laughs> I want that duck. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Shall I show you through everything that we've got then? Um, and the great thing is... To get you into cross stitch, these kits have everything you're going to need, which is just brilliant. The only thing we will need in addition to that is a hoop, is Absolutely. it not, Absolutely. A hoop and a pair of scissors. Fabulous. Well, uh, the hoop we can sort out. Absolutely. We scissors. can sort that out here. Not, not problem. The scissors we'll sort out a little yeah. bit later on. So let's do the kits <laughs> first. Let's start with Harley. Oh, I want to stroke Harley. Doesn't he look cute? This is Harley the Hedgehog. Brilliant. Now, Brie Merrin is the, the artist here. Yes, yeah. What an incredible... It's very difficult, actually, to get life and character into something like a hedgehog because you don't associate them with expressions, do you? They don't smile, they're not grumpy, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's quite difficult to get something that's not cartoon look, that's realistic look, that's lovely and cute as well. She's she, really, really nice. I think she um, infuses a lot of character into them. So she, she does. She gets a lot of character with her art. She's a, no, a well-known um, wildlife artist. So and you can really see that. She spent a lot of time studying those animals and really getting the nature and character of them. So, so. cute. Even the little glassy eyes. You can, almost, you can almost hear Harley going... Snuffling around. Well, they make that little noise, don't they, as they're snuffling through everything, <laughs> which is lovely. Um, so, the complete kit. Now, what do I get in my kits here, Helen, then? So, I get... Let me just show you just in these. So, I get this. What's this, Helen? Well, essentially, that's your chart. And what they do really handily is they break it up into two parts. They print it nice and big so that oh. you can really kind of mark off and see very easily what you're doing. Oh. And they put it in two parts so that you can just focus on one half and then the other half so you don't have to worry about a massive piece. It's not like reading a big newspaper, you know, you, get, you can't get lost in it. Uh, so you yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. just have it in two parts so you can put, do the one half, then put that away and then do the other half. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? And mm. that's how it all comes together like so that's brilliant and and also we get our thread guide here so we get it all printed out in color obviously we get all of the threads um as well which is brilliant and these are are these dmc threads yes so they're dmc threads so the thing is they're a lovely quality of thread they're color fast and um they they're kind of resistant to fading in sunlight as well so you can wash them if you want to and they're or if you need to and as i say they won't fade too quickly if you have this displayed on your wall for example so it's a good quality item and we also get the 14 count ada um to stitch upon as well yeah. 14 count that's the amount of stitches per the amount of threads in the inch so um, threads to the inch that's yeah. it 
See, I told you it was too many years since we've been in the same <laughs> studio. I couldn't. I knew the count was relevant to yeah. something. Yeah. So it's an it's a nice size actually. So what it means is good balance between what is going to take for you to stitch it, so you can see it nice and clearly. Yeah. But having said that. When you step away from it, you'll have a lovely intricate pattern that will have a picture that will have been created. So it's not something that looks too coarse when mm -hmm. you've finished it. Fabulous. Mm. I love that. How cute is that? And if you can have it all framed up like, where is it? Oh, it's behind me, isn't it? It's behind you. Um, if you can have it all framed up like that, and of course, you know, frames that, you know, you can go and find your own. They're, they're, they're cheap as chips, aren't they, in a lot of different places right now, and you can get exactly the look that you want. Isn't that beautiful? Right, let's go through the other kits we've got, because we've got lots to show you. I think probably among the most popular in this hour is going to be actually these two side by side. Let's start with Daphne. Daphne is awesome, I have to say, um, because you can kind of see, <laughs> in terms of Hochanda, I would call this duck, with the greatest of respect, because I've got a show with her later, and she might slap me. Um, I'd call this our Leonie duck. <laughs> She's called Daphne, but in terms of Hochanda, I think we call Daphne Leonie. Because she's a little bit all over the place. <laughs> oh, where's my paints? Where's my brushes? Where's my dobbers? You know, like, oh, it's, you can see the movement. You can see what's going on. You can see the fun. You can see the whimsy with Daphne as well, can't you? I love this. So the same kind of, it's the same artist. So again, it's Brie Merrin on this one. Uh, you get all of your DMC threads, which are already um, colour curated for you. Yes, they um, are. When I'm um, opening the threads, do I use them as they are? Do I split the skeins down? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you. So, um, but what you do is they're in number order and they correspond to the symbol chart. And then what you do is you're going to use two strands in yeah. the needle so you get a good coverage of your Ada. Fabulous. And we'll come back and see that in action um, in a wee while. So that's Daphne. I think she's going to be very, very popular. Uh, £26.99. 840916 is your item number. Love, 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 love. Now, I can do the pronunciation on this one, Nossie, actually, because I watch a lot of Gardener's World. <laughs> so this, this, well, uh, in essence, in plain English, this is a, a, a damask rose. In its Latin original, it's a uh, Rosa Damaskina Grandi Floral. That's its, um, that's its Gardener's World, the name they print on the screen, you know, the one you can never pronounce. Um, but that's what this is. It's lovely. So for those of you who love your florals, um, you've got a couple of different choices in this hour as well. It's really, really lovely. But that's what this will create. So again, with this kit, you've got the same kind of thing going on. Now, we've got... Sharps needle size five to nine. What does that mean mm. in plain English, Helen? Yeah, so um, some of this you'll use tapestries, and some of which is a blunt needle, and some of this you'll use a sharp needle. So where you've got any back stitching or uh, if there's French knot details in here, you'll use a sharp needle. And that means that you can choose to go through the whole of the fabric or you could choose to go through the fibre of the fabric. So you're not uh, just stuck with a hole, which we use with a blunt needle. So ah, and, and okay. the five to nine responds to the size of the needle. Okay, so. good. Amazing value on this one, £13.99. Uh, and you end up with something that is mightily impressive. I love it. It's really, really nice. And you could see that around your home completely. And even better when you've achieved it and you've made it yourself as well. Um, are these um, kits that you could consider, if I were a beginner, well, you know I haven't cross-stitched mm. yet, so I'm going to be honest and say I'm not even mm. a beginner. So could I buy, buy one of these today as a beginner and... Yeah, absolutely. The thing is, the lovely thing about cross stitch is it's inclusive. Yeah. So it doesn't matter whether you've picked up a needle before or you've not picked up a needle before. By the time you've seen the demonstration, and I'm going to explain, I've got a kit that I haven't, one of your kits that I haven't actually opened yet, and I'm going to show you from scratch how you start a kit. Oh, so like an okay. out of the packet experience. Absolutely. Brilliant. So what happens when you get that kit and how you can start it? So you make sense of what you've got in the kit and it works for any of these kits. So um, it's just so straightforward. And as I say, you just look at the chart, find the symbol, find the colour that means and stitch on the chart that you've created on your Fabulous. piece. Fabulous. And, and if you've never seen um, Helen's demonstrations before, um, she's brilliant. She just makes it so, so easy for you and so, so straightforward. Because I think sometimes people can get their can get their brains in a knot over the mm. words cross-stitch because they kind of go, oh, yeah, no, that's all about sitting for hours in absolute mm. silence and concentration and everything else. No, this is something that can really, really give you something. Now, this one is your pink centifolia, centifolia rose. 
and your white unique rose. Yes, yeah, sorry, I haven't got the, the I haven't got it written down behind me on this one. Um, so this is the Flora Genius Pink Centifolia Cross Stitch. Uh, again, comes with the sharps needles as well. All of your thread is included as well. That all comes stranded for you. Plus, you have got your Ada as well, and it's a different count, is it, on, on this one as well? Oh, it's, no, it's a 14 count. It's just a different colour, isn't it? So this is more of a sort of a cream colour yeah. background, isn't it? Love it. Um, £17.99. and pence. This one, already, a quarter... You've been shopping ahead of us, haven't you? Uh, a quarter of the stock of this one has already sold out and gone, by the way. There is so, a common link between embroidery and gardening. A lot of people who embroider love gardening, so uh, these ones oh. are probably going to be very popular, I have to say. Yeah, because I, I suppose, actually, because gardening is can be quite meticulous and detailed because a lot of gardeners are you know meticulous about when the mm. seeds go out and when the watering and out come the weeds and in go the plants and da 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 and I can quite understand that and actually if you've got a little summer house out in the garden what better way when it's too hot to be digging or weeding or you've done all of that and you're just admiring the garden sit in the summer house or sit on your bench or whatever it might be and do a bit of cross stitch in the sunshine very very nice sounds like my idea of a summer and it could well be the way we spend our summer you know um, <laughs> right next up we have got this one, which is called Bunny Key. Oh, Bunny Cross. OK. Uh, Bunny Cross. So different artists this time. This is uh, Martha Boya this time. How cute is that? You almost want to reach out and give it a cuddle, don't you? Yeah, so I Martha, again, she started up as a graphic artist working on computer screens. And then she travelled into other techniques of painting and watercolours and things. But again, she got introduced pretty young to embroidery, so she kind of combined her love. But again, you can just see it's just you can see she's like got a really good art background and just that, that observation because that that character, that real charm. It's almost doing that. You know through. that things that uh, that dogs do sometimes when they put their heads slightly <laughs> to one side the as tilt. if as if they're trying to understand what you're saying. As if they say, <laughs> what 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 do you mean? Um, it, the, the bunny's almost doing that. Isn't the it? tilt, yeah. That kind of, do you know the great thing as well? I mean, DMC threads. And again, I'm not on commission for DMC, but they are, in terms of embroidery threads, they are absolutely way up there um, in terms of the, being the creme de la creme. Not least because they've got one of the biggest varieties of colours, haven't they? Isn't it something like, it's thousands, isn't yeah, it, of different colours? Yeah, absolutely, colors? and different types as well. So even just in the stranded range, which is what you'd use in uh, cross-stitch, they've got, they've got thousands. So It just be, makes it easy to, to yeah. any colour in nature, or any colour in animals, flowers, whatever it might be, you can match it to a DMC thread. And you can, you can even those little subtleties you can do. That's wonderful. £25.99. Um, 354092. So there's a nice £4 saving on that one. Next up, we're in the den. I think that's where I should be, actually, <laughs> to be honest with you. That's, I'm just coming out of the den now, out of hibernation. Now the sun's starting to shine again. Oh, look. How cute is this? So, new, another artist this time, um, Pollyanna Pickering. Yeah, so Pollyanna Pickering is a British artist as well, mm -hmm. um, as they all are today and um and the really lovely thing is she's an environment she was an environmentalist and um it's a family oh, wow. business and she won awards for her um wildlife environmental work right but also she was an artist as well so she combined her loves to create these kits. oh awesome so this is almost like a little um like nature watch type snapshot yeah one, it's like a homage one. to kind of both sides of her life i love that i love the way that actually the um the ada that we're working on here um is black i don't know if i've seen that before yeah it really creates a different feeling doesn't it and you kind of get the idea that kind of foxes are quite often nocturnal aren't they you yeah. kind of get the idea is kind of just hunkered down just waiting to come out and play so and it's a nice fox this one it's not yeah. one that will rummage through your bins it's not one of those <laughs> <laughs> you can just tell can't you i love it again dmc threads all the way through so i guess with these artists then they do the mm. uh, the uh, the picture and yeah. then it is translated i guess by computer yeah, in some absolutely. way to a cross stitch format yes how clever that's amazing isn't it really really good is the black ada any more difficult to work with no, absolutely no? not. That's actually the kit I'm going to demonstrate from scratch because oh, cool. I, I did okay. think people might worry about that. Well, so, we'll see then. Uh, so I'll demonstrate that for you. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, let's go. Let's go from a fox to a bunny now. We'll, we'll keep them separate, don't worry. The <laughs> two won't meet. Um, we've got the woodland bunny now. How beautiful. Again, this is lovely. The depth of field in this one because you've got, uh, I don't know if they're, they're daisies, are they, or cosmos or whatever in, in the front. 
um, and they are so, so cute, aren't they? Sorry, I did a, a move there. So you, we're going to look at the gallery version of this, which is the, the one that's fully uh, made up for you. Isn't that stunning? You can really see the, like the, the depth, can't you, and yeah. the subtlety in this one. I love it. That's really, really nice, isn't it? It's almost like you're out on one of your summer country walks, do you know what I mean? And you've just spotted that bunny and you just stop, don't you? You always, whenever you see a rabbit or a hare, you stop, don't you? It's just like a little magical moment, isn't yeah. it? Where, where the two of you kind of eyeball each other yeah. and you're kind of like, oh, who's going to move first? So cool. So. 714820 is the item number then, £24.99. pence. Now, there's a bit of a love story going on here, <laughs> if you ask me. There's a bit of love going on there, don't you think? How cute is this? This is squirrel secrets, and we'll keep them <laughs> as well, won't we? How sweet are these? They're absolutely beautiful. We don't have names on these either. Do Who's the artist on this one? Do we know? Uh, Pollyanna Pickering. Is, is it that? Pollyanna? Yeah. Yes. Beautiful, isn't it? Really, really sweet. Now, that's something you would probably never be able to capture in nature itself, would you? Absolutely. They're quite unusual to find huddled together like that. Because um, they're, they're red squirrels as well, aren't they? Yeah. There's very few places yeah. anywhere in the UK. Excuse me darting around in the background, it's just so we can get a shot of, uh, of it finished. Um, but you very rarely see, um, I think they're reds. Yes. There's only a few places in yeah. the UK that, that you can actually see reds up close. So they're smaller and more tufted in the ear. And um, you see them in the kind of, um, there's an island off Dorset that you can see them. And um, yes. Lake District upwards into Is the Highlands. Is it Bounty Island? I believe so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, but they're lovely little things. There's a place uh, called Formby on Merseyside as well, where there's, mm. the, where there's, um, there's a reserve near the dunes there that have um, red squirrels. They are lovely. They are really, really sweet as well. Uh, 310756 is your item number. Remember, uh, sorry, I, sh I should, we're so busy talking about the cute um, uh, animals here. I should tell you what's in the kit. You are getting all of your DMC thread there. You're getting your 14 count Ada um, in there as well, plus your full instructions. So you get your cross stitch chart, you get the two uh, needles, uh, plus there are uh, instructions there as well. Now, we all like a book. You're going to love it. Now, I don't know how, how big the stock is here, but I'm going to make a prediction that by the end of the show, I don't think we'll have any of these. What you've got, each one of these books has 55 pages and it is literally jam-packed. I'm going to start with flowers because there's three books in, in this collection here. And in, this, um, in these books, there is a DMC um, colour guide for your thread. So you know which threads to go for, which is really, really good. And get ready for this because this isn't this isn't like um, every five pages you'll have a, a bit of inspiration. Every single page, it is almost like your encyclopedia of flowers. This one, isn't it? Um, these are brilliant. I, I can't believe that we get all three books here for ten pounds and ninety-seven because th this is just one of them. Every one of the books has fifty-five pages. Um, so that's the first one. The second one I want to show you is the um, baby one, um, which again is absolutely sweet and lovely. Um, I've, I've saved the best till last, which is food, because we all like looking at food, <laughs> don't we? But look, this is cute little teddy bears and, and everything that would just be perfect for. And, and this, is, this is so that all I need to do, uh, Helen, is just literally get myself some Ada and I can pick and choose elements from all of these, because these are absolutely. essentially charts that I guess I could yeah they're good to go and yeah. you could use them on any size of Ada to suit your eyesight and your hands yeah so um, because you just the, <gasps> the grid is the grid it just works on whatever scale you're working on Look. but also it's Flapper the kind bet. of thing you could do you can pick and choose and make combinations of your own um, motifs together love it but well, I know people at the moment have been doing um, stitches a day, like motifs a day. So they'll like throughout lockdown, they've been doing oh. like a big piece of Ada and then like their own sampler. So they could choose their own things, which is brilliant. lovely because they're all set out oh. for you. Yeah, and samplers are brilliant to do mm. because, um, and that that has been done, you know, for generations, hasn't it? Samplers, yeah. um, people would commemorate, you know, I mean, back in the day, it would be. Um, family trees and wedding Absolutely. celebrations and maybe all, yeah, all royal the big jubilees events. and coronations yeah. and things like that as you would make samplers out of those wouldn't you using um using text but this is the foodie one and look pretty much every food your heart could possibly wish for 
is in there. Right, listen, I'm not going to show you everything because I need you to get these as quickly as you possibly can. You are saving £13 on that, £10.97. Have we got a big stock, Lottie? I hope so. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll be big enough, to be honest. I think that could be one of the first items that we. Uh, who knows? Listen, it's not for me to predict, but I think this is going to be very, very, very um, popular indeed. Right. Okay. Let's move on now to a range of items which are great companions to your cross stitch, and we're introducing you to a company that is incredibly well known um, in France, and really, um, we can trace Bohan right the way back to the origins of cross stitch absolutely yeah so bohan were founded in france um but they're actually founded in the factory is founded in the place that needle making began in france oh, wow. and so the the heritage and tradition and the people making these items have been there for centuries and so the items that you're getting really are quality items so whatever you're getting it's entrenched in that tradition so can i just ask because um obviously we're looking at the first item from bohan that we're seeing here yeah. is quilting pins but this show isn't quilting no so they're so extra long um, glass headed pins they're described as quilting pins but they're actually very useful for other things I use them in, with embroidery all the time so and I'll be using um, some today so you'll see that I've marked out a grid on my fabric now um, when you're using fabric you like to do it in different ways which I'll show you to you but um, ah. basically you can see I've got a little format of, of the um, pins in there right and um, I've drawn on the grid as well with a little air erasable pen yeah. but if that grid disappears if I leave this for weeks and weeks and weeks yeah that little grid will disappear but I've already counted it and left pins in so um, ah, that's so fine so in. I can just very swiftly draw those lines in you can tack them in however you want but having that grid of pins just stays there and it doesn't bother anybody and the grid that mm. does that just center the project or does that allow yeah. you to add other elements like from the books we yeah, can plan basically. out how we're going to put different Absolutely. elements together well, one of the things that people worry about with these kits is that what if i start in the wrong place uh, okay, um, am right. i going to run out of fabric is my picture going to end up falling off the end so, so um, you, so you center go. yourself up so you basically oh. I, i'll show you but you fold the fabric up find the center and we'll grid it up from there i like to actually mark my grid on because it corresponds to the way that all the charts are created with a grid so you can see the on the paper you can see the dark lines of the grid that's always in tens so if i oh. count a grid out in tens yeah. and tack it pin it or draw it i can ch i can start i can stop and start anywhere i like if you're doing something that's predominantly the same color and you're the kind of person that gets a bit bored yeah. then what you can do is you can think okay i'm a bit bored of brown i'm going to jump to the pink and green section and you know you'll correspond and it will be all in oh, the right I place see who knew so. well us now um, so there are your uh, bohan extra long glass head quilting pins and you get a hundred of those uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence um, if you are a quilter of course you'll know the benefit of having the right pins the right mm -hmm. quality of pins as well um, glass head pins of course you do a lot of pressing and ironing and quilting so if you are a quilter again you're not going to be melting those if you go near them with the iron as well so that is good to know but they have a use in cross stitch as well who knew until today uh, next from bohan we've got the superior quality needles which are in a, a, a lovely retro 1920 style um, presentation wallet as well so they were founded in 1833 so mm. you would have think now well the best part of uh, 200 years later i nearly had to do the maths there uh, <laughs> that they probably know their stuff when it comes to needles yeah and as i say because of where they they're founded that tradition they were founded in the 1830s but that tradition's been going on for centuries before, before that in that region so yeah. all of those heritage that uh, skills were passed down and were already there which is part of the reason why the factory was founded in that place so you're getting a lot more heritage than that that might be nice to gift to somebody as well actually and this is this it. is accurate this was actually part of their presentation um designs that they did in the 20s so it's not just something they've created in that style it's something that existed in the 20s isn't that lovely so how cute is that it's really really nice isn't it so 40 needles in there 541535 10 pounds and 99 pence that's a nice little collector's piece actually it feels like something like like a sort of collector's edition um we've also got from uh, from bohan these gorgeous little embroidery scissors uh, what is it you love about these helen do you know what it's that they're balanced really well they've got good um 
too, some scissors have too much resistance and they actually become really hard to work um, over time. These have got a beautiful sharp point and because they come in the sheath, if you keep them in the sheath, they'll keep their point. Uh, they'll just sit there really nicely and continue to be good quality. So they're just well made, I basically. I hadn't thought of that because actually probably a lot of people might say, oh, it's, it's fine up in the bathroom, got a pair mm. of nail scissors that oh, will absolutely, do that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But they're as stiff as whatnot, aren't they? And I, some of them are curved and... Oh my goodness, this is one of the things I'm the most stern person about in the house. Go so on. <laughs> anyone thinks about looking at my embroidery scissors, it's like a fountain pen, basically. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I would never use somebody else's fountain pen because it moulds to their hand and, in, and the embroidery scissors are the same. Yeah. Yeah, get used to the way that you cut. So no one needs to think about using my embroidery scissors. Right, OK. So if you <laughs> want to be the wrong side of Helen, you go nearer with a piece of paper and say, oh, I couldn't just borrow your embroidery scissors, could I? Oh, she'll hit the roof. £11.99, 524483 is your item number. This is a clever little tool, really, really clever little tool. And you know what? I have to say, at the grand old age of 24 plus VAT and VAT and a few extra taxes as well, <laughs> I can really see the benefit of having one of these because it is a loop magnifier that obviously if you are cross-stitching, if you are working with something that is detail in front of you, trying to hold a magnifying glass while you need two hands to do whatever craft it is you do, and it might not be cross-stitched, could be a lot of different things, could just be reading the paper, could just be doing a crossword or whatever. Uh, to have this around your neck is a really, really good idea. Um, it, it's also bifocal as well, so it's got that, that extra magnification part there, which will take you times... Is it times five or is it times a little bit more than that? Times ten this piece, I think, isn't it? Oh, sorry, no, the normal magnification. Sorry, I'm trying to... What I should do is read the box. <laughs> what I'll magnifier. do is I'll read the box. <laughs> it's four inches in diameter and the main magnification is three times. But then the smaller sort of bifocal lens, you see that one there that's the size of a contact lens-ish, um, is five times magnification as well. Do you know what that would be great for? For anyone that has to thread a needle for any reason whatsoever, because you need both hands for that, don't you? And you need to be... You're never in the right light, are you, with a <laughs> magnifying glass. If you're doing um, seed beading as well as a jewellery maker, there, something like this is really, really good. And the way it works, it's got little sort of rubberized feet there at the bottom. And what you'll do is you'll just literally rest that on yourself. The cord goes around your neck and then you can get that to just the right angle. I can see that I definitely need a manicure sometime soon. I am hoping that the nail salons open again soon. <laughs> um, so that's really, really good to have. And again, made by Bohan as well, who are an authority when it comes to um, needlework. They're brilliant. Uh, 647 888, something I need to, uh, I need to um, invest in, I think. Now, we've got a pin cushion which has some rather, rather designer significance. Now, we haven't physically got one here in the studio because they're, like, they're literally like gold dust around here. Uh, 484189 is the item number. Um, it looks, on first glance, it looks like a ring, Helen, but it's far from it. No, it fits round the wrist. You've got them in black and red. And um, basically, oh. it's so that you can, if you're a dressmaker, if you're an embroiderer, you're a quilter, this is going to be useful for you. So what you do is you put it round your wrist and yeah. you can put your little pins and needles in it, uh, in the okay. cushion a bit. So the idea is that it just sits there and it's just, you know, because people have bad habits. They put them in the teeth, they put them in the tops, you end up scratching your face when you take your top off later, you know, yeah. like you've been mauled. Yeah. Um, so you put them in the armchair of your sofa, you know, the arm, not a good idea. So having that in one place, it keeps it nice and tidy. You know where it is and it's good to work with. And where's the very, very famous place that this uh, very pin cushion appears? Yeah, so a lot of the couturiers use this type of pin cushion yeah. for dressmaking pins and needles when they're working, creating yeah. twalls. So um, Jean-Paul Gaultier, there's actually a statue of him in his hometown mm. and on the statue, as part of the statue, he's wearing one of these um, because it's, he always wears it to work. So. Oh, and, and Lottie, our producer, has just looked on the internet and on the search engines and uh, found a picture of it, uh, and he's wearing the red one because she's just found the image online. So you can do the same um, if you want to. 484189 is the item number. You get it. You get that slice of designer history there uh, for just £19.99 from a company that's been around since the 1830s. Right. OK. Oh, we, before we start, we've had a lovely picture. Oh, it's one of the roses. It's, it's, it's the damask rose. Kate has sent this picture in, um, and she says this is my very first cross-stitch. And it is the uh, Rosa Damaskina. 
Oh, well done. That's beautiful, lovely frame as well. I mean, I'm loving the flowers next to it. I love the fact you staged that picture beautifully. Very Insta-worthy as well. Lovely. Thank you very much. Um, if you want to go for that kit, 610295. Um, if you're a cross-stitcher and you want to show off your, your fine work, then drop us in an email, studio at hochanda.com, because I would love to see it. Right, Helen. Hello. Um, are you going to take us right back to the very, very... I am, yeah. ...very beginning of Cross Stitch? So, what I thought we'd do is I'd show you a kit from scratch. So, I thought I'd choose the black one because it's really good that Kate sent that picture in because it gives people at home confidence if that's the first one she's got and she's yeah. ever done. And she's done a beautiful job of that. So, mm -hmm. I think that's great. But sometimes people get worried about how they start. So, um, what I thought I'd do is so show you from scratch how you'd approach kind of deciding where to start. So I literally haven't opened this before. Everything's exactly as you'd get it in the post. So you get your two needles. You've got a blunt one and a sharp one. So the blunt one is for use um, when you're actually doing the cross stitch itself. Mm -hmm. And the, they look like toothpicks because they're in little plastic packs to keep them nice and sterile. And um, the sharp one is for any back stitching or French knots that may be on there. So it's nice that you've got those two there. And then you've obviously got an image, an overall image, just in case you forget what you're stitching at any point. But um, you've then got your um, threads. Now, they have a little rubber band around the bottom. Just leave that in place. And they have numbers at the, at the downside. Now, the numbers will correspond to the um, stitch sheet, the symbol sheet I'll show in a second. But what people sometimes find a bit confusing is there's two numbers. So you've got, say, for example, 310 and a 1. So you can see that the 310 corresponds, that's actually the colour of the thread, okay? Whereas the one tells us how many um, strands you have. So in each strand, so this says one, so there's one strand looped over. Oh, yeah. And that means that there's six strands of thread within each strand, okay? So we can use six of these to work with. And the, the 310, Helen, is yes. that the DMC thread number? Yes. So if I wanted more yeah, in the future, absolutely. that's the one I would yeah, look for. Yeah, these are DMC Brilliant. threads. Those are the DMC colours. And if you do run out, you shouldn't run out, there's plenty. Um, but if you do um, run out or if you want to do some practising potentially, mm -hmm. then um, you could always do that on the side and those are the colours so you know you you're doing the right thing Fabulous. okay right so that's that and then you've got a lovely piece of the uh, black ada linen and um, you also have in the pack um, your symbol chart now this is where people start to get concerned but you really shouldn't so you can see that there's a symbol so for example the black square is 310 which was the thread we were just looking at and all that tells us is that you use two strands for all the cross stitching and on the pack, on the um, actual chart itself, which again is in two pieces to make it nice and large scale for you. So you really aren't going to get lost in this. So you've got two bits like this. Uh -huh. OK, now all you do is you look for the black square. Now, in this case, it's round the eyes. OK, uh, yeah. so that's how I know what colour thread I'm putting where. So you look for the specific symbol. Now, for me, I know that I get lost. OK, so I don't know what I'm doing if I don't mark my fabric off and I don't mark my chart off. So all I make sure that I do is I keep a highlighter pen. And um, you can see on my squirrel kit, for example, you can see I've started to um, actually mark with my highlighter. It's not that it's um, ill. The yellow on here, I've actually started to mark off what I've stitched. So if I bring that over here and this next to it, uh, you can see the yellow okay. corresponds to what I've stitched already. Right. And by putting the grid on and marking off on my chart, as I say, I can put it down, do 10 minutes, put it down, come back to it. I'll, I'll not have lost my place at all. So it's mm. a really handy, straightforward way of doing it. So from there, um, if you find the centre of the fabric, so all you need to do is fold it over, put a little crease mark in it, and fold it over again so that you quarter it, and that finds you your centre point. Now I'm just going to put one of my pins. Okay, so I'm putting a pin that way. Just trying to 
get it into the aider. There you go. And I'm putting a pin that way on the central line. Now, having found the central line, you know where the central point is because they correspond. So that, uh -huh. where the two lines meet, is a central point. And on the chart, if I bring that in front here, can you see that you've got a grid, as we talked about earlier, but in the very centre, there's an arrow, a black arrow. That corresponds to the central line, OK? So ah, that okay. tells me where that central line is. So I know if I fold this over on that black line, that is the top left-hand corner of my piece, OK? So it's actually a very straightforward of, uh, way of locating yourself in so the fabric. I, so I was just doing something because I wanted to test a theory before I yeah. asked the question. So yeah. the chart is like a blown up version of reality. It's not Absolutely. the actual size. Absolutely. It's size enough so that you can see it without your magnifier. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just make it so easy. So you know and can keep track of your threads. Because if I put half of Daphne next to half of Daphne, you can see that there's quite a big difference in size there. So that chart, it just shows you just how helpful those charts Absolutely. are. Absolutely. They've made it as easy as possible. They've broken it down nice and easily for you by gridding it, by making it a really large scale. They've made the symbols very different from each other so you can clearly see. Um, it, I mean, as you said, you can see on the screen very easily how different these are. So, um, and they've also put colours to help you separate the symbols yeah. so it's not just black and white yes yeah, so, you, so it's you, a really you know considered, you're going in the right direction yeah it's a really considered um set of instructions very you've got very there. clever yeah so don't be tempted when you get the because actually a lot of people would be and i think i would be naturally to go okay well there's my threads well i'll just take the band off the bottom and just take all of those off and put them to one side exactly and that, i'll because all the information, like it's like a roadmap. That's like your sat nav to, yeah. to cross stitch, isn't it, it? Exactly. And the thing is, it's one of those things that I say, if you folded it and found your centre point, the grid gives you the centre point. So I know that's the top left hand corner. That's the top left hand corner of my fabric. If I start in that corner and work outwards, as per my grid, I know that I'm going to get something that corresponds to the actual piece. So it's all going to meet up and be really lovely at the end. But the other thing that you have to consider is, as I say, because of that, it's all laid out really straight in a straightforward manner. You really don't need to worry about um, not having done this before. Mm. So it's, you can create something really quite advanced looking at the end and feel really proud of it. And the other thing is two things. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. OK, it's not a competition. No. <laughs> so nobody's sitting there going, oh, well, I spent six hours on this today yeah. and you've only spent half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter. You take as long as you take and you enjoy it. That's the thing. The other thing about it is the thing that puts people off cross stitch quite often is that very old wives tell that the back should look the same as the front. It does not. It's not a flag. So unless you're going to wave it and put it on a flagpole in your garden, <laughs> yeah. you don't need to worry about the back. It's a right. working area. Yeah. So the nice thing I, I always say, and I always joke about it, is asking to see the back of somebody's embroidery is like asking to see their knickers. <laughs> Very personal and yes. generally unnecessary. Yes. OK, so <laughs> it's, if you bear that, I joke about it, but if you yeah. bear that in mind, yeah, it's yeah, a good yeah. one because it reminds you when you start to tear yourself up about the fact that, oh, you know, you've got a thread here or you've maybe yeah. got a little knot there. Yeah. As long as it's neat and secure and it's not falling to pieces, you've done a good job. Do you know I how... Didn't I tell you that that <laughs> Helen just she she just she breaks down so many barriers when it comes to cross stitch because cross stitch because I think sometimes when you hear those words, if you're not a cross stitcher, if you're a card maker and you're thinking, okay, well I've got you on, but cross stitch is really not my thing because of all of those <laughs> outdated ideas I've got sitting in the back of my head about it being very very old fashioned and it's I've got to be you know I've got to be very very concentrated and I'll be sat there for days on end going cross eyed and, and everything else and it's really not for me. Helen's the one you always need to go and talk to because honestly, uh, we've got another one of your pictures as well, I believe, from Amanda. Let's have a look at that then, shall we? Oh, lovely. Oh, gosh, now, I, I, I'm not sure that Amanda's a beginner there. Maybe she is. I don't know. I don't know what, what your story is, Amanda, but that is absolutely delicious, isn't it? How really beautiful. lovely. Yeah, but as I say, I mean, that's the lovely thing about cross stitch. The designers have done the hard work for you. Yeah. You can just sit back and enjoy it, take your time with it, and you'll create something breathtaking. And whether you're keeping that for you or giving it to somebody else, it's double the joy, isn't it? Because you've yeah. got joy from making and joy from seeing it or giving it, and yeah. it's just an incredible thing. Well, Amanda, I'm, um, 
Lottie's just sharing with me Amanda's um, email as well. She's been cross-stitching for years um, and now she's taking a little bit of a backseat from cross-stitching and she's doing some, um, some paper crafting. Oh. But I have to tell you, she's sitting back and just marvelling at achievements like that. I mean, yeah. that, that is probably a more ad advanced project, um, I'm, I'm guessing, as well. But it's something that I guess is a skill once you've got under your belt you're going to come back to again and again and again, probably at different periods um, throughout your life as well. But, but it feels like an amazing skill, doesn't it, Helen, when you pick well, it, it up? it does, and I think it's a real kind of lovely heritage and tradition to the art of embroidery, mm -hmm. whatever form of embroidery you're doing. But then again, as you say, I mean, uh, the lady there is, is combining it with... Um, she can combine it with her paper craft and her card making. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those lovely little books that you've got there, those oh. motifs would make a lovely little front They're of awesome. a card. They're awesome. So it really combine them. Listen, Helen, I'm going to ask you to take us through, like, mm. actually, like, show us what cross-stitch is in just a second, but I'm just going yeah. to do a little review of everything that we've got on the show because it's, it's, it's going absolutely bonkers. I'm not surprised. It's really, really busy. Um, so we've got the kit for Harley the Hedgehog here. Uh, which is really, really cute. I have to say, the artists that we've got in this selection in this show, they're all absolutely so mega, mega talented, beautiful. £5 saving on that one then for you, £26.99. Uh, and then we've got Daphne the Duck. Oh, Daphne is so brilliant. She's in a bit of a flap there going on. Um, it's brilliant. Maybe that's you. Maybe you're a Daphne at home. <laughs> uh, maybe it's time to sit down, take the time, chill out and make a Daphne. 840916. Uh, 8 Again, with a £5 saving down at 2699 then we've got the damask rose uh, or the rosa damaskina grandi floral as they'd say on uh, gardeners world I feel like we should uh, be applauding you that, well, I, I know it's weird see the things you pick up when you watch monty don uh, 610295 is the item number really really great pr price and value there you get the ada you get the threads you get the needles you get the the, the chart um, and instructions there as well for 13.99 then we have, and I think this is this is the one um, out of the florals, which is absolutely well. It's it, it's taking us by storm. I have to say, it's really really busy. Not surprised at all. This is the um, pink centifolia uh, rose, with also the wh white one as well, isn't it? You get a white and a and a, a pink there as well. Again, same deal. You get the chart, you get the needles, you get the ada, you get the threads as well. The threads are DMC threads, by the way, which are some of the best. Um, threads that you can buy for embroidery sort of anywhere i'm not just saying that because they're on the show i'm saying that because i've seen them many many people who make embroidery kits of any description will choose dmc threads because they've got the biggest variety of colors they're color fast etc 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 um, you can do your own homework uh, next we have got the bunny the bunny cross this one. Oh, there's a five star review on the web for the bunny actually so check that out if you look at 354092 in fact it says the kit contains quality fabric uh, and thread with clear graphs. The expression on the bunny, uh, the bunny's face is priceless. Very, very pleased. Thank you. It's always lovely to hear your reviews as well. I'm sure you've seen in the breaks that we've, um, we've, um, we've just received another award, have we? Uh, Platinum Award from FIFO as well, um, thanks to your amazing feedback. It's really important that you feedback as well because everything goes there as well. It's good to know you can trust a company, isn't it? Now, one of the most popular, and this is the one that Helen's about to um, uh, start stitching away in just a moment, is this one. Um, different artist, this is Pollyanna Pickering um, this time. Absolutely beautiful. This is called In The Den. And stock-wise, we're approaching half the stock of this has sold out and gone already. Wow. I, I am not surprised at all. £19.99 is the price tag. You get the Black Ada with that as well. Then we've got the Woodland Bunny. This is really, really cute. This is like that, that moment, that snapshot in time when you're out on your summer walk, you see a bunny, you stop and you freeze, <laughs> don't you? And you just enjoy that moment. And by the time you've got your camera out and ready, it's hopped off somewhere else. That's wonderful, isn't it? 714820, £24.99. And this, this I think would be so, so lovely. Do you know what, if you're a crafter, remember you can stamp onto um, Ada as well. So I'm just thinking with the size that this is, if you look at the gap between the two sides of this design, when you see the whole thing, you can actually see that there's plenty of room in there for sentiments, messages, names, dates. It could be when, mm. when you know, the couple was married or whatever. Ah. Um, Stock-wise, approaching two-thirds of the stock of that has sold out and gone. It's a delightful project, I have to say. I'll show you the finish. There it is. Look. How beautiful. <laughs> it's lovely. I've got it. Uh, am I just going to show the books? Am I allowed? 
because I don't want I don't want to take up Helen's demo time, but I've got to show you this. So you've got three cross stitch books here. You've got food, flowers, and you've got babies as well. Every one, 55 pages, and they're like little cross stitch samplers. So you can take those out. It's almost like it's like having the think about it in terms of paper crafting. It's like have, having the biggest stamp set you could possibly wish for in one. Um, nearly 40% uh, have gone there of those. You're making a £13 saving, which is really, really amazing, isn't it? Right. Helen, talk to me yeah. about cross-stitching. Right, so whilst you've been presenting, I've been stitching out a little grid, which is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres square. OK. It doesn't take long. Right. Done it just, done, just done this while you've been chatting. So where I'd put the pins on the central line, I've just started. So that, that there, is uh -huh. my central corner. OK? Right. Yeah. So I know that my grid here, one, two, three, four, is one, two, three, four. OK? Yes, got it. So, because um, if it was on white fabric or just pale fabric, we could draw it on with an air erasable, a gel pen, a quilting pencil, something like that, a water erasable pen. Because it's dark, we need to use a thread and mark it on. Mm -hmm. So that's absolutely fine, but it's really easy to see. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just hop this out of the frame so that I can steal that. So. I do like to use an embroidery frame. I know a lot of people like to stitch in the hand, mm -hmm. um, but it's hard to actually maintain a good thread tension. So that's why I actually um, like to, my preference is to work in a, in a frame. Mm -hmm. So whether that's a hoop, um, so that's, as I say, just keeps it cleaner. It's also much easier for your hands. So, yeah. um, because if you're constantly holding, um, holding things in your hand all the time, it's a lot of pressure through there. So literally starting from scratch so i'm going to look at this square first the central square i'm going to think okay what am i seeing predominantly here in here to help me ground this design so i'm seeing a lot of this kind of l shape uh -huh. so i'm going to look on my little chart here what is the l shape it's 738 738 bring this over here 738 is this one here so i know i need two strands so what you're going to do, really straightforward, is so you don't take them off the chart. All you need to do is to get two of them out. So I've got a single strand there. I'm just holding it loosely and I'm pulling. That's one. And that's two. And then when I put this back up, it's intact. So I don't mess my system up, <laughs> OK? So it's really straightforward. And then what you can do is you can put your two ends together now, everyone wonders about how you start off. Little knot. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that knot on the top surface of the fabric, away from the area where we're going to start, in an area we're going to cover up. And then that means I can start stitching with my, um, with my thread. And then once that's, that uh, thread on the back leading to the knot is, co is covered over, it can be got rid of. And it's really nice and easy, nice and simple. You don't have to worry about, is it going to undo itself? So I'm just going to... Put that knot on there yep. and then I'm going to look, okay, so where am I starting? I know that my top right hand corner of that square has got two, two crosses next to each other. So all I need to do is come up, go down and then do the same thing again to cross it over. And that is as complex as this gets. So we do that again to do the second one. Now, what I would say is if you've got a dark Ada linen, you will benefit from either having a light garment or um, on, on your lower half or a little pale cloth that you put over your lap because it'll help to show up the light, um, the holes. Yeah, we can see through, yeah. through that as well. Yeah. So yeah. whereas if you've got a white Ada, then if you wear a dark garment, like um, dark trousers or something, it will help. So you can see on this chart, so that you don't lose your place. We can mark off those two ones that I've done. Um, and then I know I've got two yeah. starting diagonally next to that. So it's really, as I say, a foolproof way of making sure that you don't lose your position. So within that grid square now, would, are you going to do all of the crosses that have that L? Absolutely, yeah. I'll okay. just work all of those. Some people really like to kind of hop about. But for me, I'm kind of like, even if I do a square a day, yeah. you know, so if I think, oh, there's only, you know, it's a 10 by 10 square, 
So it's 100 stitches, isn't it? So yeah. if you get those stitches done in a day or two days, yeah. then that's one square less to have to complete the thing. Yeah. So it's quite a nice way. Some people like to work through and think, OK, where is that L across the next area? So you'd work the L and then work the next L in the next square. But for me, as I say, I'd do that. And then I'd work all of the L's that I know I've got in this space. And then I like to just park up my threads. So you can see if I bring my squirrel over, can you see I've got a couple of different shades on my squirrel mm. and I've put a little bit of tape on the side here. And what I've done is I've written with a little marker pen, the little symbol, ah. and then I park my threads up next to it. Right. So what you can do is you can kind of um, bring it up and then I can bring it back in. Yeah. When I come to the next time it's, I see it in a square. Ah, so, so, I don't... You're, so you're not continuing, because I, no. I, I hadn't really thought about it before, but that as you started, I thought, oh gosh, you're going to keep cutting very, very short lengths of the same colour mm. here, there and absolutely everywhere. But no, no, no. The thing is, even if you're going maybe across a square or two squares, by the time you've filled in the whole thing, those lo slightly longer stitches will be held in on the back. Yeah. So you want to not jump from, you know, from the head of the fox down to the tail. That yeah. distance would be a bit long because you yeah. struggle to maintain your tension. Yeah. But in an area that's maybe jumping from one square across two squares, you'd be quite okay to do that. And as I say, by you always think, I'll remember what that thread colour is, and you don't. Let's yeah. face it, you yeah. get life happens, you get immersed, you get taken away by something. Yeah. You make it easy for yourself. As I say, I just like this foolproof system where you can just park it up, I know what it is, and then I can come back to it. And I've already marked on my pattern exactly what I've worked. So when I come back to it, I think, oh yeah, I need to go S now, and I need to go diamond. And it means that Gosh. I haven't lost myself. You know what? When you've marked off what you've done, and, yeah. and forgive me because this is all new to me yeah. as well, so you might be thinking, oh, Derek, for heaven's sake, what are you talking about? We've been doing this for years. But there's lots and lots of people who are picking up a craft like this all of the time. So for me, that marking off what you've already done demystifies the whole... Because actually, if I gave someone who wasn't familiar with cross-stitch, if I said, right, OK, here's what you need to do, off you go, crack on. <laughs> yeah, I, it's a bit intimidating. They would look at the enormity of that and they would say, you are. A bit I, intimidating, I, isn't I, it? Yeah. I need to do a two-year course. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean before I do that? Well, you see how straightforward it is, though, because you've never done cross-stitch and now you feel like, oh, I understand how to do that now. That's, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. And that's, that's the beauty of it. It's designed to be straightforward and for anybody. So, and the thing that I love about it, particularly at the moment, is so many people have been looking for new crafts during this period of time, mm -hmm. something that they become immersed in that's going to take a bit of time and that they can spend their hard-earned money but know that they've got an investment of a lot of time in return for yeah. that so it's yeah. not a flash in the pan hobby well and also yes and also it's one of those where you don't need to invest hundreds of pounds no. to actually get started in that's the great thing now listen just before we go because we've run out of time i can't believe already but i need to it's just going crazy for all of the bohan um bits and pieces that we've got remember bohan uh, i've got a heritage that goes right the way back to the 1830s and they're based in the part of france where mm. needle making making actually began um, in France. 598088 is your extra long glass head quilting pin, uh, quilting pins, a uh, hundred of those uh, there for you. That's really, really busy. We've got that wonderful, wonderful wallet of um, needles from Bohan as well. Almost half the stock of those have sold out as well. £10.99 there. And that presentation wallet is beautifully styled um, as if it were the 1920s all over again. And the, um, the embroidery scissors, don't go near them with paper. Uh, <laughs> they have especially if you're in Helen's house, <laughs> 524483. They are really, really busy as well. It's a great price, I have to tell you, £11.99. And the magnifier, which I just think is genius, it's really, really good because you just attach it to yourself, put it around your neck, and that's, and that's going to be good for all kinds of things in your life, let me tell you. And we've also got... Oh, the pin cushion as well. Yes, we haven't physically... Next time, mm, we'll have to bring one with yeah. you, uh, Helen. Uh, red or black, 484189 is your item number at 19.99. Um, Helen, we've literally run out of time. Can I'm so sorry. Can you believe it? You are back with I me know. at 9 o'clock. I am. More playtime. What play can time. we expect? 
Oh, lovely things, goodies, goodies, lots of embroidery, lots of lovely embroidery chat, lots of enthusiasm. So yeah, come, come ready. Fabulous. <laughs> We're going to get Helen's story, I think, as well. I'm going to ask Helen her story as well, because it's a fascinating one. <laughs> uh, again, so come back for another hour with Helen at nine o'clock tonight. If you've got anything from this hour, because it's a different hour at nine o'clock, if you've got anything from this hour, please make sure you check out your baskets and come back and see myself and Helen. You know how nosy I am. I'll ask everything at nine. <laughs>